Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn what is congestion control. In a packet switching network, packets are introduced in the nodes and load in turn forward the packets into the network. When the offered load crosses certain limit, then there is a sharp fall in the throughput. This phenomenon is known as congestion. Factors that causes congestion. Packet arrival rate exceeds the outgoing link capacity. Insufficient memory to store arriving packets. Bursty traffic. Slow processor. Now what is congestion control? Congestion control refers to techniques and mechanisms that can either prevent congestion before it happens or remove congestion after it happens. Now we can categorize the congestion control mechanism in two types open loop congestion control and closed loop congestion control so in open loop congestion control retransmission policy window policy acknowledgement policy discarding policy and admission policies are there whereas in closed loop congestion control back pressure choke packet implicit signaling and explicit signaling are present now we will see open loop congestion control first policy is retransmission policy retransmission is sometimes unavoidable if sender feels that a sent packet is lost or corrupted the packet needs to be retransmitted retransmission in general may increase congestion in the network however a good retransmission policy can prevent congestion Second is window policy. The type of window at the sender may also affect congestion. The selective repeat window is better than go back N window for congestion control. In go back N window, when the timer for a packet time times out, several packet may be resent, although some may have arrived safe and sound at the receiver. Third is acknowledgement policy. It is imposed by the receiver. Also affect congestion. If the receiver does not acknowledge every packet it receives, it may slow down the sender and send prevent and help prevent congestion. A receiver may send an acknowledgement only if it has a packet to be sent or a special time expires. A, a receiver may decide to acknowledge only n packets at a time. Fourth is discarding policy. A good discarding policy by the routers may prevent congestion and the same and at the same time may not harm the integrity of the transmission. For example, in audio transmission, if the policy is to discard less sensitive packets when congestion is likely to happen, the quality of sound is still preserved and congestion is prevented. Fifth is admission policy. A admission policy which is quality of service mechanism can also prevent congestion in virtual circuit networks. Switches in flow First check the resource requirement for a flow before admitting it to the network or if there is a possibility of future congestion. Now the second type is closed loop congestion control. First in this first is back pressure. The technique of back pressure refers to congestion control mechanism in which congested nodes stop receiving data from the immediate upstream node or nodes. This may cause the upstream node or nodes to become congested and they in turn reject data from their upstream nodes. The back pressure technique can be applied only to the virtual circuit networks in which each node knows the upstream node from which a flow of data is coming and we can see it in the figure below. Second is choke packet. 
a choke packet is sent by the node to source to inform it of congestion in the choke in the choke packet method the warning is from the router which has encountered congestion to the source station directly the intermediate node through which the packet has traveled are not warned for example in icmp when the router in the internet is overwhelmed with ip datagrams it may discard some of them but it informs the source host using a source quench icm icmp message the warning message goes directly to the source station and we can also see this in the figure below third is implicit signaling in implicit signaling there is no communication between the congested node or nodes and the source the source guesses that there is a congestion somewhere in the network from their symptoms for example when the source sends several packets and there is no acknowledgement for for a while one assumption is that the network is congested explicit signaling the node that experience congestion can explicitly send a signal to signal to the source to destination in explicit explicit signaling method the signal is included in the packet that carry data explicit explicit signaling as we will see in frame congestion control can occur in either forward or backward direction so in backward signaling a bit can be sent in packet moving in the direction opposite to the congestion whereas in forward signaling a bit can be sent in a packet moving in the direction of the congestion references are from data communication and networking by Firozan thank you